Hello fellow gamers, in this video I will be going through the, Bank Heists missions across the entire GTA series. Heists are a significant part of the GTA series. Ever since Vice City, the concept has been greatly expanded as a core gameplay feature. I have ranked them according to the gameplay and difficulty which is completely my personal opinion. Do subscribe if you like the content. Let's move into the gameplay. First and the least difficult one is from GTA 3. The getaway given to protagonist Claude by Joey Leone from his garage in Trenton, Portland, Liberty City. Joey offers Claude one last job, to assist a few friends of his in a bank robbery, with Claude acting as a getaway driver. The player must find a four-seater vehicle and pick up Joey's friends at the Panettiere business in St. Mark's, before driving to the Bank of Liberty branch in Chinatown. The three bank robbers attempt rob the bank, returning after gunshots, screaming and a ringing bank alarm are heard. Using either the pay and spray in the red light district or police bribes, the player must lose the police and drive the robbers back to their hideout, concluding the mission. Second in the row is the bank job from GTA 2, given to protagonist Claude Speed by Trey Welsh of the Zaybatsu Corporation. Claude is required to hijack a bank van and recruit group of Zaybatsu members. From there he is required to steal money from the Third World Bank. After robbing the bank the van is to be parked in the Zaybatsu safe house. Claude is then asked to bribe a cop by Trey Welsh. Claude give the suitcase to the cop which turns out to be a bomb. Claude is asked to escape the cops and to reach the Zaybatsu safe house. Job complete. Next is from GTA Vice City. The job by Tommy Versetti. Shortly after purchasing the Malibu Club, Tommy finds his team in order to pull of a heist at a bank in Little Havana. Upon arrival the four of them, along with Ken Rosenberg discuss the sequence of the robbery. Then they head for the bank. Once there Tommy tells Hillary to keep driving around the block, then the three of them change out of their current clothing and into green jumpsuits with hockey masks. Afterwards, they head inside and begin the robbery. Phil is instructed to keep an eye on all of the civilians. Tommy and Cam head upstairs to the bank's vault while killing security guards. After having difficulty with the vault, Tommy goes down to the manager's office, and holds him at gunpoint, and has him follow him. Once up there the manager helps them open the vault. Tommy then decides to check on Phil, only go to down there to find a civilian being shot by Phil for activating an alarm. Tommy then gets ready to fend off member of the Vice City SWAT. At the same time Cam tells them the vault is open. The three, or two if Cam is killed after cracking the safe, of them kill the SWAT team, and head outside, only to find more SWAT waiting for them. Hillary then shows up to help them but is immediately gunned down by a SWAT agent. The team kill the remaining SWAT and drive to the nearby pay and spray, and afterwards to Cam's can openers, where they meet Kent Paul and Mercedes Cortez. It's, it's, it's not inappropriate! It's... It's another one of your fucking disasters! That's what it... Next is from GTA 5. The Pelto score. The crew drives to Pelto Bay, where they drop off Franklin, and then go to the bank entrance. Inside, Trevor will shoot out the camera, causing the alarm to go off. Trevor and Michael handle crowd control, while the gunman welds the safe deposit box room's door open with a blowtorch. Michael impatiently kicks the door open after it has been weakened and starts to steal money. Meanwhile, Trevor sees two cops pulling up outside, talking about shooting the alarm guy under the assumption that it is another false alarm. He fires a warning shot and shouts that they have hostages. 
the officers retreat to their cruiser to tell dispatch that the 2 to 11 is confirmed and they need everything they have. Hey, here we go. With all guns trained on the doors, the three men emerge with heavy weaponry and body armor acquired from the military convoy. Franklin, still in charge of the getaway after the original plan is botched, finds a dozer in the nearby Pelto Construction Company site, and drives it towards the crew. Then the trio will be forced to engage all the soldiers on their own in the factory. A train eventually arrives at the factory, and the three protagonists jump on and escape. Nightfall comes and the crew leaves the train after arriving in Sandy Shores. Agent Sanchez soon approaches the players, leaving with the majority of the tape. Gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay. And here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh, yeah. It's a huge fucking win. Woo! Fifth in the row is from GTA 4. Three Leaf Clover, given to Nico by Patrick McCreary. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers. The two that count. Derek and Jerry. Hi. Nico meets Packy, Michael and Derek at the McCreary residence in Dukes. After a brief introduction, the group drives to the Bank of Liberty on Columbus Avenue in the exchange, Algonquin. Armed and wearing balaclavas, Michael holds the customers hostage in the foyer, whilst the other three head to the vaults. After making their way into the vaults, the group steal $1 million. However, Michael is killed by Eugene Reaper, who is killed in retaliation by Packy and Derek. The surviving trio return to the street and find themselves surrounded by Noose and LCPD officers. After fighting their way to a subway station, the group escapes via the underground subway tracks, eventually returning to the overground and stealing a Hummy Sport to make their getaway. After evading the police, Nico drives Packy and Derek back to the McCreary residence. Packy mourns Michael's death but congratulates the rest of the group for pulling off the heist, and he gives Nico his share of $250,000. Thanks Nico, you're a damn good man. The last one is from GTA San Andreas. Breaking the bank at Caligula's, given to protagonist Carl Johnson by San Firo Triad's leader Wu Zi Mu from the Four Dragons Casino. The team get into a secure car and head towards Caligula's palace, whilst Carl makes his own way there. Carl enters the casino and uses Millie's swipe card to gain access to the lower floors of the casino. Carl heads into the generator room, where he throws a tear gas canister into an air vent. Zero activates the charges Carl placed at the Sherman Dam, which blacks out the casino. Carl uses night vision goggles and makes his way to the service bay. He uses a forklift to open the garage door and allow Woozy and the team to enter. The team head towards the safe whilst fighting their way through the security guards. Once at the safe, Zero announces that someone is trying to restore the power using the backup generators. Carl heads back to the generator room and blows up the backup generators. The triads open the safe using satchel charges and enter to steal the money. Whilst the triads are in the safe, Carl protects them from incoming mafiosi. Once the team have collected the money, Carl leads them back to the secure car whilst fighting the security guards. When the team reach the service bay, they load the money into the secure car and leave the casino escorted by two members using police bikes. Carl, acting as the decoy, must make his way to the casino roof. He does so, fighting off more mafiosi. During the firefight, the power is restored. Carl collects a parachute and jumps off the roof. Once he lands, he escapes from the police and meets the team at the Verdant Meadows airstrip. Z 
Zero, will you hide? I didn't mean to tell Berkeley. It just kinda came out, is all. You're watching? If you would like to watch the gameplay of each series separately, I have given the link in the description. Comment down your favorite heists and feedbacks. Subscribe for more gaming contents.